All right, in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about your DJ website. Now, hopefully, for starters, before we get into this video, you have a website, okay? Your MySpace page is not enough. We need an actual website, and what I recommend is actually going to wordpress.org and setting up a blog and using a blog theme that looks a lot like a normal website. This is all pretty much free. You can do it yourself. All you need to do is buy domain and hosting, okay? So very simple there. So the question now is uh, whether you have a website or you're gonna go out and make one right now, what do we put on the website? What are the pages we have? What type of content is gonna be on this website? Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, first and foremost, the two most important things is your phone number uh, and your location. Now the phone number, your phone number where people are gonna contact you and we'll talk in another video about having a business line but you should have a business line that's separate from your cell phone. Um, that needs to be on every page so that any page that people find you on they can immediately call you, right? So phone number on every page. Now the other thing that's really important is have your location on there because I've seen this time and time again where someone d uh, Googles DJ and they find a website, oh this is great but the person's like five states away and you can't even tell like, you know, the county's best or the state's best DJ but they don't say what state or county they're in, right? So say your location, be very specific as to where you are. Very important. Okay, let's look at some of the different pages that you should have on your DJ website. Uh, include a rates page. Now that's extremely important because I've talked about this before. One of the big questions that people ask when they hit your page is how much? Everyone wants to know how much you are. You don't need to tell them, but you need to at least direct them in the right location where they can learn more about your pricing packages, what you're including, what your services are about. You can just say call for pricing or, uh, you know, click for an instant quote, right? So, but you need to have a rates page and you can call it anything you want, but I call it a rates page. All right, uh, then an about page or a services page. Uh, this is either where you're gonna talk about yourself, your experience, your business, um, the mission of the company, stuff like that. Photo gallery is great because photos speak a thousand words. If you have videos, that's even better. Contact page, uh, obviously that's self-explanatory. All your con contact information, maybe a website form is gonna be on there. Frequently asked questions page is great because that'll help index your site with all the keywords, but you could have 10 to 15 questions that people are always asking, you can go ahead and put them on there and people will ask them and the answers are already there. Now the trick with a frequently asked question page is that you ask questions and answer them that are gonna help benefit your business even more. So, you know, asking questions like, uh, why should I choose you over any competitor? And then you just sell your business more, right? So frequently asked questions are designed to help you, not hurt you. Uh, but lastly, most important, I mean, we can come up with a million of pages. You can have a blog on there, you can have videos on there, testimonial page, you can do everything you want, right? Um, you can even have a database of all your music and, and you know custom song lists and stuff like that. Most important is that you have a call to action on every page, really. Wherever people go, there should be some sort of call to action to tell them to call for their free quote, call to book their next event, uh, submit this form, get started now, book your event now, blah, 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 do something now, okay? That's your call to action, that's the most important thing and people forget that. So go through this little checklist, see if you have that on your website, you may need to make a few tweaks, yours might even be better than this. So uh, hopefully that helped though, I'm James Wedmore with DJForProfit.com, I'll talk to you soon, take care.